What's up guys, Easy Philosophy, and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic will be about the elements of Euclid. This is part 3, and please enjoy. Alright, so definition 17. A diameter of a circle is a straight line drawn through the center, terminated both ways in the circumference. So this basically means that the diameter goes through the center, it's a straight line, and it touches two sides of the circle's circumference. Definition 18 says a semicircle is the figure contained by the diameter and the part of the circle cut off by the diameter. So semi means half. So a semicircle would be a half circle. And a half circle would be the figure contained by the diameter. So the way you can look at it is if you cut off this half of the circle, you're left with the other half. And the other half is a semicircle. Definition 19. A segment of a circle is a figure contained by a straight line and the part of the circumference which it cuts off. So it's kind of like a semicircle, but in this case, it doesn't have to be exactly half of the circle. And it doesn't have to be cut by the diameter. Definition 20. A figure contained by straight lines only is called a rectilinear figure. So this figure over here is contained by only straight lines. So it is a rectilinear figure. But this oval shaped thingy is not a rectilinear figure because you can't see any straight lines over here. Definition 21. A triangle is a rectilinear figure included by three sides. So a triangle is a rectilinear figure because it is contained by straight lines and straight lines only. So this is a rectilinear figure, but what puts it apart from other rectilinear figures is the fact that this has three sides. All right, a quadrilateral figure is one which is bounded by four sides. In this image, the straight lines blue and red connecting the vertices of the opposite angles of a quadrilateral figure are called its diagonals. So, vertex, vertices, same thing, same word, but different tense. So, a vertex is a point where two or more curves, lines, or edges meet. The straight lines, blue and red, connect these vertices. And so, these are called the diagonals, because they connect opposite sides of the figure. Definition 23. A polygon is a rectilinear figure bounded by more than four sides. Alright, same concept as the triangle, but instead of three sides, a polygon is a rectilinear figure bounded by more than four sides. So over here, I just have one example, which is a pentagon. It has more than four sides. So it is a polygon. Alright, sadly, the video has to end right here, but part 4 will be coming out shortly. Part 4 will be talking about different shapes, mostly triangles, some other shapes. So stay tuned. Thank you guys.